What is up, Nephilim? This is the Chig coming at you from Sanctuary with another D3 build guide. Today we're going to be talking about the Greater Rift Speed version of the Masquerade set, which is the starter set for the Necro this season. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, anything you can do to help out the channel for free. And don't forget that we have a giveaway going on. As soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a copy of D4 or another video game of your choice. How you enter is by being subscribed to the channel, like and comment on any of the videos that mention the giveaway, and you will be entered one time for each video that you like and comment on. So like and comment frequently. All right, let's hop right into it. The six piece, we're wearing all six pieces, the head, the hands, the chest, the feet, the legs, and the shoulders. Um, the two sets, Simulacrums no longer take damage, gain all runes, and it's cooldown is refreshed when you die. Simulacrums is the biggest thing in this build and it's amazing. For setup, while you have simulacrums out, damage is reduced by 50%. Damage you take is split with simulacrums as well. So they don't take any damage, you take reduced damage, and then they split the damage with you. So you take even less damage. That's your biggest toughness thing. Six set, bone spear cast by you and your simulacrums deal 9,000% increased damage. Simulacrum gains triple this bonus. So they're dealing 27,000% just by the set. Okay, we're using Haunted Vision, so simulacrums last forever. We're using Gillimdor's Marrow Guards. Bone Spears cast from Simulacrums deal even more damage. Dainty's Binding, you gain an additional damage reduction when there are an enemy affected by any of your curses. We are using a curse just for that reason. Crisbin's Sentence, you deal 98% increased damage to slowed enemies or triple this bonus against enemies afflicted by any other type of control and pairing effect. We have a stun, so we'll be stunning things if we need to really blow them up. Briggs Wrath. Um, uncursed enemies are pulled to target location when a curse is applied to them. So we can actually use Decrepify as a way to stack up enemies. Our main hand is Scythe of the Cycle. Your secondary stat, uh, skills deal 400% additional damage while bone armor is active, but reduces the remaining duration of bone armor by 4 seconds. We're basically spamming bone armor to keep it up. Um, and this is going to be a huge multiplier. Lost time. This is slowing enemies and giving us movement speed. For the gems, we're using all int gems. Um, that way we get resource cost reduction because that is one of the biggest stats for this build. Um, resource cost reduction, crit crit, um, are the biggest things for this build and it shows. Um, we have intelligence in the gear. We have 9,500 intelligence. We do not have any in our Paragon points. Um, the whole point of this video is to show you that you just need the gear, not the levels. We have Bane of the Powerful because we're not killing anything that's strong enough to need Stricken. We have Zai Stone of Vengeance for two reasons. One, it stuns. Two, it gives us extra damage the further we are away. So it can accidentally proc our Crisbans. And then we have Bane of the Trap. Slowed enemies take more damage. In the cube, we have Maltorius Petrified Spike. Bone Spear now costs 40 Essence and deals 700% increased damage. Um, we have to actually spam Devour to keep our Essence up. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Um, Steward's Greaves, you gain 100% increased movement speed for 10 seconds after using Blood Rush. So we're going to be sprinting around like mad. The movement speed for this build is insane. And then Convention of Elements, just a little extra damage here and there when it rolls around to the right element. Um, Simulacrum, does not matter which rune you use. You get all of them with the build. Decrepify Enfeeblement, Crippling Curse, it reduces enemy, enemy units movement speed by 75% and, in, and reduces the damage of the affected enemies by 30%. Um, increases the potency to 100% and decaying normal potency over 5 seconds. So that just means they um, get brought to the middle, they stop moving, and then they're slowed, you know, for the next however many seconds. Um, blood Rush Metabolism, we're doing this to have an extra charge of Blood Rush. Bone Spear, Shatter, um, instead of piercing, now detonates and explodes. This is just more AoE damage. We really like uh, area damage in this build. I don't have any on any of my gear, but if you have area damage, huge boss. Um, Devour Voracious. So this is going to give us um, more resource back as well as giving us RCR for being able to throw more Bone Spears. So we will be able to just keep spamming as long as we're keeping up Devour. And then Bone Armor, it's going to give us damage reduction, but obviously it's here for the damage increase. Um, dark Reaping, while using a Scythe, you gain 2% Essence and Life per kill, so every time we kill things, we heal and we get back Essence. Fueled by Death, every time we consume a corpse, we get to move faster, so this is just more speed build stuff. Final Service, because if we goof, we get one shot. 
and standalone is going to give us 80% increased armor um, because we're going to have two minions up at all times. So let me knock out a 90. You can definitely do higher than 90. I always showcase on 90s because 90s are typically something that most people can do comfortably. Um, so I always showcase on 90s. And yeah, so when you want to kill stuff, you just stack them up, you shoot them, bang. Um, so you can look for density or not. It doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. Um, I just recommend kind of making sure that whenever you see a big amount, you go ahead and you stun them and blow them up. Um, it's super easy to play this build. Just, I mean, sometimes you don't even have to use your, your curse, right? Like most of the time I don't even use my curse. I just run around and you can hear me spam clicking, so I mean, I, I know you know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, like you just consume essences, consume corpses, and then blow stuff up, right? Like it's not, not rocket appliances, as Ricky would say. Um, so, I mean, really, you only need to use Decrepify if you feel like you're squishy. Um, I mean, honestly, if I were to get hit, I would be squishy, but like... You kill things so quickly that like you're not even really you don't have to worry about it. So like it's like okay, well, we're uh, we're good over here. Um, if you're good over there, you guys just uh, keep doing your thing. Um, see, this one's a juggernaut, so he's actually going to take some effort to kill, um, but he still just got deleted, right? Like it's not like we're struggling to kill anything. Um, a lot of things you're just going to one shot. To be completely honest, as long as you've got your cooldowns up, and by cooldowns up, I mean as long as you got bone armor up, you're going to one-shot a lot of stuff. Like, you really don't even have to worry about it for the most part. Um, oh, look. I took damage. Huzzah. Um, yeah, it's silly is what it is. It's, it's a really good speed build. Um, it's a good one to use to get everything you need to get for whatever build you're trying to put together. Just... And it's the free set, right? So like, it's not like you're struggling to put this one together. If you're playing Necro this this season, you can put this together for basically free. Um, none of the items are particularly hard to get for it. Um, I think the hardest thing to get is probably Scythe of the Cycle, and it's not even the rarest Scythe. So, I mean, it's one of the rarest, but I don't think it's the actual rarest. Um, other than that, like the rest of the gear has pretty decent drop chances like it's not a very difficult build to put together it's not anything that you actually have to deal with um, as you can see you hit very hard um, I mean you stun them and you mess them up right like you just super easy build three minute runs um, obviously I'm not the best player at this build um, there's massive room for improvement on me for me on this build. So, yeah, put this one together. Um, it'll help you farm your LOD set or whatever set you're trying to put together until you get there. And then, um, yeah, it's definitely a great starter. Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give away and uh, go get those legendaries.